Hello everyone, this is Rob and welcome back to Media Awareness and specifically spoiler free film suggestions. Last week I featured three films that I thought were worth mentioning. Um, the Lighthouse, Under the Silver Lake, and Mandy. In the process of editing that video, I, I found that there was simply too much to fit into a reasonable time frame. And I was honestly bothered by that. So, I'm only going to be featuring one film per week from now on. But I'm breaking that rule today and today only. Because today I have a two-pack. And both of these films are connected in one singular way. They were both taken from uh, an author's source material and adapted to film. And the source material was taken from the same collection of short stories. I'm talking, of course, about Clyde Barker and his books, a uh, book of blood, sorry, and the Midnight Meat Train. Now first, I'm going to once again reiterate, this is as spoiler free as I could possibly get um, without really giving things away. So if you have seen the Hulu original film, you'll have a vague idea of what Book of Blood is about. This version, however, really resonates with me a lot more so than Books of Blood, um, the whole original. This particular version is much more serious. The tone is serious from the start. And there is no uh, there's no comedic relief. This is a really um intense story about a gentleman who through unscrupulous means finds himself cursed and that's the best way i could summarize the plot of book of blood it is a phenomenal film the locations are perfect they are subtle and they are very um minimal which I think works to the film's advantage as well, because it, you really don't need a lot for this particular story to work on on screen. And I really firmly believe that what we get in Book of Blood is far more riveting than Books of Blood on who this. This focuses on the gentleman I spoke of and his... Um, story along with um the woman in the short story who's in the film as well who is specifically interested in really um capturing legitimate paranormal activities and it is just a river, it, it's it's spellbinding, and I really can't say enough good things about Book of Blood, but I can't really say a lot without spoiling it either. Is it scary? Yes and no. I think it's more suspenseful than scary. Um, there are very little moments, there are very few moments where the music or the atmosphere builds up to something that's going to happen. Which is which, which I think we've all gotten used to and become accustomed to on the un unconscious level almost. That when we hear music building up, when we hear complete silence, something's going to happen. That's not always the case in Book of Blood. Um, it's nice to have that change of pace. So, that is Book of Blood, as spoiler-free as I could give. Check it out. It's available in the dual pack. It's also available 
as I seen in Opal Ray, I recommend the two pack because you get two movies for the price of one. And you also get them on separate discs, at least with the Blu ray edition. And um, you get them in sequential order to the way they are featured in the literary version of Clive Barker's Books of Blood, which features the Books of Blood as the first story. And then the second story is The Midnight Me Train, which happens to be the second film in this collection. The Midnight Me Train. Oh, yeah. The title itself is rather questionably cheesy until you see the film. I was not going to, to even really watch the film when I first got it. And then I watched it and I could not believe what I was seeing. I, I could not shut it off. Um, the film follows a photographer that is trying his best to get thought-provoking and um, interesting shots of film preserved for exhibitionism, basically. He's trying to put together a showing of his work. Yet, he doesn't really have anything that's occurring in the moment. He has these after-the-fact uh, uh, photos and before-the-fact, but he doesn't have anything in the actual act of it occurring. So, he happens to... Um, venture down into the subway uh, one evening and there are a bunch of thugs harassing this girl and he basically uh, calls them out and he's not a very well built guy he, he he's very scrawny looking and these other guys aren't exactly that way they are very menacing and they could kick his ass and he stands his ground and he happens to point up up to the um surveillance camera and when they see that they just you know brush him off and leave and you know, the girl thanks him for saving her basically from being assaulted by them and she gets on um, the subway and there have been these string of murders that are unexplained um, and people have, that have gone missing and cases have been closed because these individuals have gone missing which is also part of the plot as well because it becomes clear that more people are involved with these people vanishing than the people themselves and the person performing the heinous act on these individuals that he ends up performing our photographer gentleman becomes unraveled in this plot because of his curiosity and an obsession with what is occurring to the point where a face-off occurs and he finds himself at the will of the people or the entities I should say not people that are basically masterminding the entire um, process and they're also interwoven into society as far as 
workers in general, whether they be the police, um, subway attendants, anyone, basically. You don't really know who you could trust in this film. And it really messes with your sense of right and wrong and who is necessarily the person that you can actually trust. I love The Midnight Me Train. Yes, the title is a bit on the hokey side. But when you watch the film, I assure you, your mind will change almost immediately. This film is really just a work of art. I will caution some of you, the special effects were primarily done on using CGI. Um, and for its time, it's not bad, but in hindsight, it didn't hold up as well as far as uh, certain aspects of the blood being shown and different elements such as that. But if you can ignore that and watch the movie for its story and even um, the acting in general, because the acting is also top notch, uh, you will love this film. So, once again, my suggestions for this week horror themed book of blood and the midnight me train if any of you out there would like me to do a review of the hulu books of blood i will do so however i that would mean i would have to watch it again and torture myself in doing so which i guess is the point of a clive barker film because they are about torture, um, primarily. Not always, but yeah, Hellraiser, uh, Lord of Illusions, N Nightbreed. Um, the list goes on, as they say. If you like my content, feel free to click the like button, click the bell icon, leave a comment, follow the uh, links in the description. To contact me on Facebook or to donate to my Patreon and um, you can be assured that, that reviews and um, content in general will continue occurring uh, at that point. I do hope to talk to you all soon.